Well, looking down in here, I can see this thing. I don't even see that under the water there. It looks like a stick, but actually when I pull it out, it looks like a smooth plastic handle. And if you look very closely, there's a leaf design on it as well. So it might be the handle to, I don't know, what do you think? Hairbrush, something like that. And you can see the little leaf design there on that. So, and it might be made of like a baker like type substance there hmm so first interesting find and let's have a look down in here see that little thing there Not sure what that is, but it seems to be made of metal. So we'll investigate that a little bit later on. What's this down here? <sighs> Crazed piece of plate. Don't we'll get too excited now, will you? <laughs> That's all it is, just a crazed piece of Victoria plate. So in the sieve with the rest of it. Carry on. Oh, find something else down in here. What's this? And this old piece of rusty metal here probably warrants some further investigation in a, a few minutes just to see if it comes up with anything interesting or not. But it looks quite an interesting shape there. Don't know if that was a handle there. Not sure. In the sieve. There we are. See an old bit of shoe there with a metal shoe plate on it. Victorian, looks like a child's shoe. Uh, so quite interesting. Not going to use the F word yet, but quite unexpected that fine but nothing Roman yet but still good fun look at that another weird shaped sandstone bit there that could very well be Roman again a Roman kiln plinth something about nature <laughs> And very old piece of pot there, sort of eaten away. That could be, could be the rim of a Roman or Saxon handle off of a pot. Well, I've decided that I'm going to grab hold of the sieve now. Don't look at that old dustbin there that somebody's chucked in and uh, see if I can sieve anything out so we'll give that a try and see what happens well I think we've come to the end on on this lot here it's not anything that dynamic just bits of stone small piece of a metal there it's possibly a screw or something uh, piece of pot there fairly modern piece of brick could be anything fairly modern and a stick and that there whatever that is it's waiting for the water to clear again it's quite silty today even though it's a clear stream and uh, look down in into the clear lagoon of life see what we can see Maybe size 10 in there just bits of 
almost like flower pot like this end. and chalk another bit of flower pot you can see that straight away you don't need to pull that out just a bit of oh. another bit of Victorian ridge pottery check that by the one side don't even find that interesting anymore even giving up making comments about it, it's so boring. So, carry on looking, see what we can find. Oh, there are a nut that's been in the water. I think I must be nuts for being in the water, but there we are. It's a nut from the water. Probably my best find of the day so far. It looks like some bits will be a bit too. big got this here look at this oh. good grief that giant piece of ridge or whatever it is absolutely massive obviously from a building but and ooh, looking down in the water there it is too and it's about all I can use the F word for today. A nice piece of shorter than I found the last time I was around. Victorian pipe stem. So use the F word. Absolutely fantastic. And some green edge of 1930s pottery. Carry on up here. What else can we find? Oh, it's one of those horrible fence posts there. And. Oh! There we are. Scammel. Scammel. Uh, Froom and Wells. Oh, what a shame that's broken. That could have been such a good bottle, to say the least. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to use the F word. Fantastic, a Froom and Wells local bottle, but unfortunately broken beyond even any form of saviability there. Carrying on, looking down in the water, see if I can find anything remotely. I, I really get a hit off of Roman stuff, love it, but it doesn't look like I'm going to find any of this this time at all. But we'll carry on a bit up here. Oh, got this here, which was some sort of classic design, I've no doubt. And a <coughs> bit of blue and white as well. Carry on looking. See if there's anything else. Ah, there is. I think, and another piece of very small diameter, very small pipe stem there. Something rang down there. Oh. There we are. Maybe the bottom or even the top of an old, old pot. Well, just before I finish totally, I'm had a last look here, doesn't seem to be much. I'm going to move this wooden box and see if there's anything hiding underneath. Oh, look at that. Obviously, an old uh, chicken coop there that somebody's kicked into the stream. And we'll see if there's anything hiding underneath that. They probably pushed it down that great big bank that you can see there. 
Look at that. Mud launch everything and found a chicken hatch. Well, I've just pulled the old chicken hatch up, had a look, and there's absolutely nothing. Yes? No, uh, I won't have drained in this, Rich. Um, I've just uh, found a chicken hatch. Yeah. Yeah, the weirdest thing I've ever found, a chicken hatch. Don't think that can go on my bucket list. Um, while I was going down the river, Rich pointed out, so I brought him out on an excursion as part of his recuperation again. Something on the bank here, and oh, there we are a fantastic strongbow cider glass, fairly modern, strongbow embossed on the side. But it's a find and may not be Roman, but shape of it. Got an archer on there, can't go far wrong with that. Well, here we are, roundup time. I know this is a bit you've been really excited about. You can't control your emotions. Oh, when's it going to round up? Please, please, let's do it. Oh, do I have a cup of tea now? Do I wait till the end of the video? Well, here it is. You Here is the bit that you've all been waiting for. And brilliant, you will not be disappointed. So, first thing, we had that little metal thingy that came out that we weren't really sure what it was but could be anything part of a tool or whatever then had this wonderful big handle here with some embossed stuff on the side of it there you could just about see it when I pulled it out leaves and things like that so uh, I don't know what it is it's like a baker like type thing it may just be old plastic I don't know but baker like I like to think it is. The Victorian child's shoe with the hobnail plate still on the heel there. Still on the heel, the hobnail plate. Gosh, I bet you're really excited about that one. You can, can't control your emotion. Rest of it all gone, of course, but hey ho, part of the history of the area. Not Roman, but Victorian. Then various random bits of pot, bits of glass, bits of glass, but then, if I don't drop it back into the stream, we have some uh, different embossed pottery there, very exciting, I, I had a job to contain my emotions on that one, then the round piece of thingy, whatever it is, so we'll call that a round thingy piece, we have plain white, more plain white, uh, more green and white, and we had a really small pipe stem, which I've dropped and lost back in the river again, I think, unless it's in there. No, I think I've dropped and lost that, so that's pretty good, isn't it? So the small 17th century pipe stem I've lost. <laughs> anyway, so then we've got the one Scammell Brothers, Froom and Wells, bit of an old bottle there, which obviously goes into our area, shows us a bit of local history, Scammell Brothers, quite a common bottle in the area, won't do. My nut, I can hardly contain all of this, so tactile, magic. And, Rich is going to take this one back, the Strongbow glass. So there we are, we found a couple of bits of pipe stem, Strongbow glass. Uh, if I find the pipe stem again, I'm not going to worry too much about it. But the Strongbow glass is quite interesting, embossed on the bottom, embossed on the sides. So Rich is going to take that and bung it in his dishwasher, which he hasn't got yet. Because he doesn't wash uh, other than by hand. 